Uh, Raghav, at this point, we're looking at bulldozers uh, now bringing down many of those accused homes. They are, they are merely accused. Remember, they, ha they, they are accused in this case, but not convicts as yet. At this point, Yogi Adityanath strictly cracking a whip on, on those right accused when there is no legal norm that says that criminals' homes can be bulldozed. On, on what basis is, are these bulldozers being rolled into those areas where, that are communally hit? Sir, uh, it has already been said that action is being taken under the municipal, uh, respective municipal corporation acts. And uh, the fact is that there is a certain section of the population which feels that they have veto power over whatever is happening. And uh, they can use their street veto to prevent the law from taking its own course and to also ensure that the law takes the course that they wanted to take. So such uh, insolence or... Uh, uh, disobedience or uh, recalcitrant behavior cannot be tolerated in any civilized society that works on the basis of the principle of rule of law. FIR has been registered and action will be taken. Nupur's remarks might have been condemnable, but we have to also keep in mind that she was provoked. Like for the last one week uh, leading up to the remarks, unfortunate remarks that she made, uh, Lord Shiva, who is... Uh, presiding deity in the homes of so many Indians was being mocked constantly. So I actually don't understand uh, why is it that uh, the mocking of uh, uh, deity of one religion is kosher while uh, the mocking of uh, the deity of another religion is not kosher. So this hypocrisy first of all needs to stop and uh, yeah secondly as I mentioned uh, the law is not going to uh, function in accordance with what some people want and uh, it will uh, does the law approve of bulldozers does, does the law, some... but does the law approve of bulldozers moving over homes of uh, of criminals is there is there any written rule or law or process that allows a, a respective government to move forward on these lines that the yogi government is doing in fact bjp governments across the country now well, opting to bulldozers to only encroachments have been de demolished under the respective acts of the municipalities and uh, nothing illegal has been done. If there is something illegal that has been done, then the same has to be challenged in court. You and I cannot sit here without knowing the full facts. And no, no, decide I, upon I, the I certainly can raise questions. I certainly am in a position to raise questions. We are not making judgments here. We're only asking, raising questions. And on, that, on, on those lines, you obviously have the kind of backlash coming in and quite naturally that this was arbitrary. Many of them and their homes that you say are illegal were demolished at a point... As long as the courts have not pronounced it as such. I don't think you or I can pronounce the actions to be arbitrary. The courts have to do it. The high so these court are allegations of, uh, again. Let me tell you, it's not two. I. It, I'm talking on... I, I'm, I'm telling you the allegations have been put forth by the opposition. That's, that's my... Allegations of an irrelevant opposition party don't matter so much. But uh, yeah, whatever action has been uh, taken, its legality or constitutionality has to be adjudged in a court of law, not by you or by me. Again, I'm not the one judging here, uh, Raghav. Just uh, uh, FYI, it, uh, you can count yourself in, not me. But thank you very much, Raghav, for joining us on that.